Good day everyone, this is Ernie Kish with the Kish Cash Fund and it's a recap of our Axel trade that we were planning on last evening. It is Friday, July 1st. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, freestockcharts.com for providing the charts for us that we work on for our presentations. Um, I went ahead, now the market is still open. Uh, we got into this trade at about 10.47 this morning and closed the trade at uh, 11 minutes after 11. So we weren't in the trade very long at all, less than a half an hour. But um, it was a, a good trade for us, so uh, we'll explain what happened. We would put up our pivot point chart here uh, that we had uh, made uh, last evening and we said okay the high yesterday was 11.69 the 200 day moving average was 11.81 it was looking like La Axel was rolling over it was getting tired um, a previous high uh, the day before uh, yesterday's high the high was 11.64 it, I put in the close. Here we have a close of 11.38, a low of 11.31. So we kind of got a feeling that Axel was getting tired. Just for a heads up for ourselves, we put in 11.19. That's the 50-day moving average. So when Axel opened uh, up a little bit this morning here at this figure, uh, our plan was to see how high it might go, short it at that point, and see what happens. Um, Again, our thinking was maybe maybe that our stock was, was was rolling over. So we watched it go up this morning for a while, and then right at 10 o'clock there was some great news uh, about the ISM, some manufacturing news. Uh, the, they were you know very happy to hear that report. So things went went sky high. Uh, well, not sky high, but they did go up. The spider went and just went like wham. Uh, Rick Santelli on on the news out in, at the Chicago uh, Board of Trade was saying uh, some great things, but then everything just kind of like went sideways at that point. For, you know, it went up, and then it just went like the spider just started going sideways. Axel uh, hit that 11.56 figure, and we said our short range plan was 11.61 down to like 11.53 or somewhere in here. We were going to short it at that point. Uh, or that's what the plan was. And had we shorted it at the uh, 11.56, that would have been the, the dead high at least so far today. Um, we saw it come down a little bit and then we saw it go back up. Now it hit this Fibonacci line here, the 50% like a, around 1142 to 44 -ish. it climbed back up to around 1152 didn't get any higher so again these are all signs like yeah I'm getting droopy it's starting to roll over here we wanted enough of a confirmation that yes we are heading in this direction um, I was really thinking about somewhere in here uh, I finally said let's not chase it anymore comes down up back up here so right at uh, about this candle here at the high of this candle we shorted it at uh, eleven dollars and forty three cents so we watched it for a little while we saw, saw it go sideways a little bit um, came down like the eleven forty two uh, forty three forty four ish somewhere in there and then as soon as it hit like 11.40, we said, hey, that's a good sign. Um, at 11.38, we said, oh, that's, that's, that's really nice, you know. Um, we're coming down nicely at, at this point. So um, we're just, you know, intensely watching this thing. And we say we start looking at our pivot point chart now. And we start saying, okay, well, it dropped past the 11. 46 uh, down to the 1140 here we go we got in right here that's not a bad place it looks like um, it hit yesterday's close that was going to offer some support but it didn't it kept on tanking um, it came down to the 1131 I was looking at blue by 
my point of 11.35. I'm watching each one of these points as this thing's coming down. And there was no reason to buy the cover because as we're coming down here, there's no real up bars yet. Right up until you get to the S1 figure, 11.23. And I thought that was going to offer some support. And it did. 11.23, 11.24. There's a doji here. And the little up and comments right, right before that doji. Um, we just said, hey, let's ride this thing out. My hand was on the trigger to go uh, to buy the cover um, somewhere around uh, 11 20 and 27 cents to give myself some room if this thing started shooting up. It did not. It decided to come down. And I said, great. And it w when it hit and went past the 1119 figure, I said, this is going to give it some support. But it blew by the 1119 figure. And I said, hey, this is a good day for, for shorting Axel. Nice trade so far. Uh, went by the 1116. And then, of course, right here, it hit its low for the day so far, at least today. And I think probably that's the, the low, the dead low of the day, the 1108. Um, we are we bought to I had a, a a buy to cover it went 1108 and then started to go 1109. A lot of people I think decided to buy to cover at that point. My buy to cover wa order was in at 1115, and uh, it took me out at 1113 um, because it of all of this uh, buying action at this point now. It just went from 1108, 1109. Out of 1109, I put my 1115 order in, and I got uh, taken out at 1113. So every, I guess a lot of people just decided to buy the cover at that point. And then it's uh, on its way up. And as I look at the chart now, it's even up in the 1130, 1132 range here. Um, so yeah, it was an excellent, excellent trade. We uh, shorted it at 1143, brought it down to 1113. Uh, a, a, a nice trade of 30 cents. Uh, our stop was $11.48. It never hit that. So we, you know, had the right direction right from the get go. We uh, planned uh, this well, and then it was an excellent execution, too. Uh, if I criticize myself, maybe getting in, uh, shorting a little bit higher, possibly, but. You know, just can't say. I mean, th it was a great day. So I want to thank uh, everyone helping me figure this one out. Um, keep green on your screen out there. Uh, have a great 4th of July uh, weekend and holiday. And we'll put some trades together for um, uh, next week. And, and we'll be right back at it next week again, okay? All right, God bless. Have a great weekend, everybody.